Welcome back and if you're new here welcome my name is Sana this is perfectly imperfect keto where being perfect is overrated and being imperfect is appreciated today is Thursday it is March 23rd and I'm gonna go ahead and just get right into the one meal a day dinner that I'll be cooking tonight all right friends so I have these New York strip steaks that I had got from Sam's Club so we can read the label here it says beef New York strip steak, and this is 3.09 pounds, and it came out to be a total of $33.93, being $10.98 a pound. So I went in with these New York strip steaks because the ribeyes that they had, they did not have any good marbling on them. So these were definitely the best choice as far as when it came to the fat content as well as the marbling. So I'm going to go ahead and just simply just salt them up on all sides. I do have my air fryer already set for 380 degrees. I have my wire rack in there. So I'm going to go ahead and thoroughly salt them on all sides. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick my meat probe in. I have the meat probe set here for 145 degrees Fahrenheit. That is the internal temperature that I'm gonna look for with these steaks. So that's gonna give me about a medium. Once I take them out, they're gonna come up to a temperature of about medium well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. All right, I do have two of the New York strip steaks in the air fryer right now. These both were similar in shape and size. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these two together. Then I had these two that they are definitely similar in shape and size. So I try to kind of split it up that way. That way I can try to get the best even cooking that I can because obviously my meat probe is just going in one cut of meat here. So I'm going to go ahead and get these air fried and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be working on for a side dish. All right, friends, this is what I'm going to go in with as a side dish. I had gotten this from Walmart, so it's just their great value brand of cooked shrimp it's peeled deveined it has the tail still on and they are medium in size so this was a cost of eleven dollar and sixty six cents so as you can see it's one pound eight ounces so these are the shrimp right here i already have them thawed out i simply just run them under some cold water in a strainer and i'm going to just toss them in a hot pan with some of the lemon herb butter so I'm going to go ahead and just go in with the shrimp. I have the pan hot here, as you can see. These are not going to take very long as they are already cooked. So I'm just going to basically just toss them in here. That way I can simply just have them warm. And I'll just go ahead and add some of this lemon herb butter on top. So that is all I'm going to do with these. This lemon herb butter, it has enough salt as well as the lemon flavor so i really don't need to add any seasoning or anything like that i'm going to simply just allow these to just warm up and just heat and i will show you guys what my plate looks like coming up stay tuned friends all right friends the timer went off so as you can see it is still rising in terms of the temperature so i'm going to go ahead and take these out but this is how they look when you air fry them all right, so I'm going to go ahead and take these out, as I said, and I'm going to allow them to rest for about 10 minutes. All right, friends, so I do now have my one meal a day dinner plated up here. So as you can see, I have the air fried New York strip steak. I do have some pats of butter on the side as I wanted to be able to show you all the steak and not to cover it up. And as you can see, I have a substantial amount of the shrimp. And I simply, as I said, I just heated it up, warmed it up in a hot skillet with that Chef Chamois lemon herb butter. All right, friends, so I'm going to go ahead and eat while this is still hot. I want to thank you all for joining me on this Thursday. I appreciate you all. Take care, friends.